Hi, I'm Debbie. And hi, I'm Amber. And we're part of the Education Department here at the Cook Museum of Natural Science in Decatur, Alabama. Today, we're going to give you the skinny on skin. Let's get started. Our bodies are pretty amazing. We have lots of organs that do really important jobs, like our heart pumping blood, our kidneys cleaning it, and our lungs exchanging gases. Guess what our biggest organ is? Skin! skin. How much skin do we actually have? Well, skin covers our bodies, so let me see how much paper it takes to cover amber. It took one and a half square meters of paper to cover amber. <laughs> and just like the heart and the lungs and the kidneys, skin provides a really important job for our bodies. Protection! And it's waterproof. Skin keeps us from getting too hot. Or too cold. Skin protects us from ultraviolet or UV rays. Skin protects us from chemicals. Skin protects us from bacteria and viruses. And skin helps produce vitamin D, which stores calcium in the bones, makes them really strong. Skin has touch receptors, so we can sense soft things. And prickly things. My skin grows with me, just like my muscles and bones. And our skin doesn't shed like a snake's does, but it comes off in little flakes. This is a snake shed. And when my skin is damaged, it can grow back. Hey, Debbie, just how does the skin protect us in so many ways? If we look at skin under a powerful microscope, we see that it has lots of layers. Can I take all this off now? Sure. So the top layer of the skin is called the epidermis. And the epidermis, you can break that down into two words. Epi means on top of, and dermis means skin. The epidermis has keratinocytes, melanocytes, and Langerhans cells. Wow, that's a mouthful. Keratinocytes, or keratinocytes, produce keratin, which make the skin strong and waterproof. It's the same protein in snake scales and in turtle scutes. Keratinocytes also produce vitamin D, which pack the bones full of calcium. Melanocytes produce melanin, which gives our skin color and protects us from harmful UV rays from the sun that can give us cancer. And Langerhans cells roam around looking for viruses and bacteria, alerting immune cells to attack them. <laughs> the epidermis is constantly shedding cells, which is why this reminder will eventually fade away. Moving deeper, we have the dermis. And the dermis has hair follicles that produce hair, sweat glands that produce sweat, and oil glands that produce, I know, oil. Blood vessels in the dermis open wide or dilate in order to allow blood flow close to the skin, which helps us cool off when we're really, really hot. And when it's cold, blood vessels actually constrict or get really small, and it helps reduce the body heat that we lose. And sweat glands release sweat that evaporates to keep us cool. Ah, yeah. So the dermis also has elastin, which makes it super stretchy. And it also has collagen, which makes it really strong. The dermis is packed full of sensory receptors. My sensory receptors help me tell the difference between a really soft blanket and really rough sandpaper and a cold glass of water, and a really nice warm mug of hot chocolate. And don't forget about our pain receptors. Our pain receptors alert our brain when we feel something that's really hot, or really cold, or really sharp, or when we fall really hard. And lastly, the deepest layer of skin is called the hypodermis. Hypo means under. I'm Hypotable. And the hypodermis is much thicker than the epidermis and the dermis. It's because it's mostly fat tissue. 
and we need a layer of fat under all of our skin. And that's because the hypodermis helps to keep our body temperature constant and it helps to cushion our muscles and bones from bumps and bruises. Epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. So much protection. And that's the Skinny on Skin. And be sure to follow us for more videos and tune in next week for more Two Minute Science.